Welcome to morning prayer for Saturday, March 28th. Brant and I have very much enjoyed bringing morning prayer to you each morning this week. Please remember that the service for the Lord's Day for Sunday tomorrow will be accessible on the church website, including a copy of the bulletin for you to print out and follow along, or you can uh, use it online. Next week, morning prayer will be brought to you by Christy and several of the youth of the congregation. Uh, tune in then for more hope and respite at a difficult time. O oh Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall proclaim your praise. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. The psalm for this morning is Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From those who are deceitful and unjust, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk mournfully because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out your light and truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy will and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Yesterday, uh, I began reading 1 Corinthians 13. Today, I continue. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put to end childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I only know in part, but then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. We come now to prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Satisfy us with your love in the morning. And we will live this day in joy and praise. 
great and wonderful God, we praise and thank you for the gift of renewal in Jesus Christ. Especially, we thank you for opportunities for rest and recreation, the regenerating gifts of the Holy Spirit, activities shared by young and old, fun and laughter, every service that proclaims your love, You make things new, O oh God, and we offer our prayers for the renewal of the world and the healing of its wounds. Especially, we pray for those who have no leisure in this time, especially for people who are enslaved by addictions, for those who entertain and enlighten, those confronted with temptation, and for the church in North America. Blessed are you, O God, our Creator. At the work of your hands we sing for joy. Keep us in your grace and peace this day, and teach us to glorify and enjoy you forever. Through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, as the children of God, we are bold to pray together. Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. To God be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.